This is Dabu7. A heads up for folks out there that may have a lot of money sitting in one of these major banks. As we're seeing multiple banks start to collapse. And really, it begins here. As this is now the third bank in the past week that has shuttered this whole thing. Today, seeing Signature Bank, one of the two big U.S. destinations for crypto companies, being closed by New York regulators. They're saying that everyone's going to get their money come Monday morning. But this is the third major bank that has fallen in the space of a week. It's got people spooked. And this joint announcement that depositors will be protected above $250,000. Because that's what the FDIC guarantees. This is to reassure customers that their money's going to be there and it won't be frozen. Now, Signature had $88 billion in deposits as of December 31st, 2022. It is a major bank. It is one of the major banks widely used in cryptocurrency. Like Silvergate, which collapsed on March 8th, Signature had a network that let crypto companies transfer dollars in real time. But with both crypto banks gone, this is going to make things kind of tricky for people to get back into dollars in crypto. And I just don't think most over there even see it. They get buffaloed by some of these headlines, but the proof is in the pudding here. Major banks have just collapsed, and I do not trust the government on their word of backing any and all of this at all, because it seems to me like some kind of probe is definitely going to be launched into these, and this very, wood could very well could be attached to them saying that they're going to try to dismantle all this, because all in all, in the end, for them push a CBDC, which strips all your freedom and privacy. They're going to have to do away with the rest of crypto as you know it. This has been what they've done in all the other countries, and we've seen this step by step. We also have word that gold and silver spiking. Some of the people that I follow over on Twitter tweeting out that they've never seen so many people buying gold and silver both on a Saturday ever. As long as they've been keeping track, I tweeted that information out. And also, if you're trying to go get fractional silver or gold, this reminds me of right when the scam demic started to pop off. People were trying to get this and it sold out. And unfortunately, it sold out at Ampex or Atmex. But if you in the regular price is 157 that you see right here, if you're lucky, and you can find one of the places still carrying it, that's around the price it should be. But if you go over to JM Bullion, as you can see right here, for that same 100 gram sleeve, Val Combi bar, almost $100 more. That's right. We've warned about this for a long time. I'm glad some of you out there listened. It seems that things are going to continue down this path. It seems a little strategic to me. I'm going to break this down further on the live streams.